It shows that you really care about me, your kid. There is one simple thing that I want you to do after watching this video. To read to me 10 minutes each day. You know, there are a lot of grown-up reasons why you should read to me. But most of all, read to me because it's fun. Red, red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. See, what did I tell you? I could give you all kinds of statistics why you should read to me. Like, I'll do better in school or because I'll be able to get a better job. But the best reason to read me is just for the pure joy of it. You can read to me as soon as you bring me home from the hospital. That's right. Even an infant can feel the love that flows when you read aloud. But when she came back, he was riding a colt. The dame made a curtsy, the, the dog made a bow. The dame said, your servant. The dog said, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Best mother boost ever. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare, and so the poor dog had none. She went to the grocer to buy him some fruit. But when she came back, he was playing the flute. She went to the hatters to buy him a hat. Some scientists think that the rhythm of poetry reminds newborns of the beat of their mother's heart. Read to me as soon as I come home from the hospital and I might become especially close to you. Tiki tiki tumble, no so rimbo, chari bari ruchi, pip peri pimbo, ran as fast as Question. How did you learn to read? Did somebody stick a book in your face and tell you to just do it? No, before I can learn to read, I have to learn to listen. Then tiki tiki tumble, no so rimbo, chari bari ruchi, pip peri pimbo, raised his voice and cried, Oh, most honorable one, Chang has fallen into the well. Think you are already a good reader? That you are so terrific that you don't need any help in reading to me? Well, here's a few how-to hints that can make your reading even better. No more monkeys. Move your finger under the, the words. This shows me the connection between what one you say and off, what's on the page. And bumped his head. Okay, only turn the page. Let me turn the page. No more I feel real important when I can do something myself. She fell off and bumped Act her out head. the story. I love it. Hey, this is more fun than the TV. <laughs> said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that makes reading fun is fine. Comic books, they're pretty amazing reading tools. Anything that gets us to read is okay. You've probably seen these read-along tapes at the store. Maybe you thought they were no good or too expensive. Wrong! Later that night, with only three days left until These are great for when you don't have enough time, or when I just want to spend more time on my own. And the cost? You don't need to buy them in the store. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Record round your and own, round, or have older brother round. or sister or grandma and grandpa record and their round. own. All and you can play them anywhere. Bring. Wipers on the bus go squeak, 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 squeak. And Grandpa said, I have some things that are very special to show you. So you have a hard time reading. Or maybe you can't read. No problem. If you can tell a story, you can read to me. There are great picture books available, and you can make up your own words. Looks like an addict to me. Grandpa said, I want to show you all these things. And Bobby said, oh, look at this. There's dresses and coats. And if English isn't your native language, read in your own. It doesn't matter how you say it. Reading is reading. 
Remember, reading doesn't have to cost you anything. You can just say, charge it. There's a little green charge card that's better than all the rest. A library card. With it, you can have any book you want. And a trip to the library is a great family outing. Make visiting your library a habit. So you want to become a good reader? Maybe you can't believe how simple it all sounds. If you really must have some rules to write down, here's an easy one to remember. The three B's. You've got to have three B's in the house to help me with my reading. B number one, books. If I'm gonna read them, I've gotta have them around. Money is not necessary. Remember that library card? Use it. Daddy, can I have a book? B number two, a book basket in the bathroom. Hey, don't you read in there? So do I. And finally, a bed lamp. When I'm big enough to read on my own, this little beauty will help me to continue what we started together. Tell me I can stay up past my regular bedtime if I'm reading, and I may just take you up on it. But most importantly, set aside 10 minutes every day for reading aloud. All I need is 10 minutes, and the best time to read to me? I'm really ready to listen to you just before bed. Invitation by Shel Silverstein. If you're a dreamer, come in. If you're a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire. For we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. There, that's about all the time we have, 10 minutes. It didn't seem too long, did it? If you can find 10 minutes to read to me each day, you can make a big difference in my life. made possible with the help of our partners, Pizza Hut Hawaii, the Kamehameha Schools Bernice Pawahi Bishop Estate, and Hawaii Public Television.